hey guys welcome back to new video and in this video we're gonna see how we can use string resources in our view model so suppose you have an application that require validation logic and if you are using best practices then this validation logic present in your view model so in view model if your application also support multiple languages then on that scenario you have to use string resources in your view model but string resources is only accessible with the help of context that means if you are using string resources in your view model you also have to use context in view model so if you are using context in your view model you actually promoting memory leakage in your application and that is not a good option so here I'm going to show you a trick by using which you can use string resources in your view model. So let's get started. So I have this very basic application that has a pin code validation logic which is present in my view model. So if I type over here six digit pin code number, it is valid. Now if I type five digit pin code number, it is of course not valid. So here you see pin code length is not less than six. So the validation logic you can see present over here in my view model i have a error channel that is used to propagate my error messages to my user interface or composables and here in our main activity we have a very basic composable this launch effect is actually used to collect my error channel messages and below to it i have a column that contains a text field spacer and a button so on clicking of this button we actually trigger the validation logic so this is a very simple composable and a view model okay so now we're gonna see how we can use string resources in view model to do that i'm gonna create a sealed interface and i'm gonna call this get string so this is a seal interface get string so we are actually receiving two type of string the first one that is error string coming from our backend responses and the second one that we actually use in our validation logic or any kind of error messages that is coming from our string resources so the first one which i'm gonna call as a dynamic string which is coming from our api responses or to be more clear i'm gonna call this api strings we have simple a value in this okay and i'm gonna use get string the second one is actually a class and i'm gonna call this string uh, resource and here we have the resource id which is a type of int and make sure to annotate this variable with string resource and uh, lastly we have arguments so if, if you have any argument that you want to pass in your string resources you have to send that thing too so to do that i'm gonna use here var arg well i'm gonna call this arguments and type is any okay and lastly i'm gonna extend this thing with our interface cool so we have two classes over here now how we can convert this resource id into an actual string so to do that i'm gonna create a composable function and call this to string okay so we actually present in our interface so i'm gonna use the reference and if our type is api string we simply return the value that is present in our api string in a form of member variable okay the second one is string resource so if our type is string resource on that scenario we are gonna use string resource that is coming from our composable and simply use resource id which is present in our class and lastly we have arguments so pass your argument over here just use asterisk sign before it so that it is spread all of your arguments and the return type of this thing is a string and simply i'm gonna use here a return keyword so that's it so to string i think okay so we don't use to string here we use as string so that it will not accidentally overwrite something else second function that we are gonna create here so suppose if you want to access string in a, in a non-composable function then on that scenario you have to use this function that we will create so the name is function as string the same name and simply pass context over here a written type would be string check the type so if it is an api string simply return the value okay and if it is a type of string resource on that scenario i'm gonna use my context call get string pass my res id and the argument that's it 
and simply use a return keyword so these two function is actually used to convert your api string or string resources into a meaningful string so let's see how we can use this so go to your main view model and here i am returning this hard coded string instead of this i had already created this string in my string resource file so i'm going to use this pin code length so copy this go to your main view model and i'm going to uh, remove this and i'm using get string dot string resource and pass my res id which is r dot id dot simply paste the id so this is present in a string resource so i'm going to use a string over here and lastly you need to pass the arguments the percentage d that we use in our string resource over here so i use pin code length for that and simply paste it over here so this will shouting me an error this is because the type of the channel is a string so i'm going to change this get a string and same as this go to your main activity and here you will receive an error so this is because requirement of so toast is message or you can say string but now we are receiving get a string so i'm going to use as a string over here pass my context okay so context is already created over here now i'm going to execute my app and if i type one two three four only four digit and try to validate it you can see over here pin code length is not less than six and in this case we are not using any kind of hard coded string or you can say uh, not passing context in our view model constructor so we actually prevent the memory leakage and also prevent the hard coded thing so now if your app support multiple languages you can use it very well in your validation logic and this is also unit testable i mean you can write unit test cases for your view model you don't care about the context so this is a way you using which you can pass string resources in your view model and make your view model unit testable hope it helps and we will meet in our next video where we can discuss uh, other tricks regarding the android development so bye